So on this demo board, I have painted it with Cannonball, the black, and I did some texture painting on it just so that you can hopefully see better um, when we add the color waxes to it. So what we're going to do on this demo is we're going to see how different waxes can change the look of paint. And the mixtures that I have done, we have clear wax here, dark wax. Um, here I have a color wax where I added um, three to one um, with wax, clear wax and um, white paint. And then this is the black mica into the wax, the three to one ratio. Um, so let's go ahead and see if I can do this at the same time. So we're gonna do clear wax in this one, dark wax, white wax, and the black wax. Okay. Let's see, here's clear wax. Oops. So wax on off buff. You would just want to work it into the paint. You think I would get a phone stand by now? This is apparently too much fun for me. And I'll just work it in a little bit here in a minute. So when you know that you can, um, when you learn that you can mix any color into your clear wax. It leaves many different options out there. And right now it's really popular to do the white, the white wax on a color. And especially if it has, um, you know, details where it really pops the color. Oops, sorry here. And you can just see how the white just nicely sits into the texture area here. Okay. And then we have black. Let's see. to get help with my videos. Okay, so can we kind of see in this video here? So let's take a look. Clear wax, dark wax, black wax, white wax. And with the white, you just, um, you can kind of see just how it tints it a bit, but if you were doing a bigger piece, you just really want to work it in. And it seals the piece, but it leaves kind of a white finish to it. Hopefully that was helpful. This is just one way to do it. I encourage you to play with the products and just see what you can come up with. I'd love to see it.